Right guys, uh, I had to load this from a different save file that I literally found on my uh, original PlayStation virtual memory card because I'm playing this on the PlayStation 3 by the way, but I'm literally so happy to actually uh, have come to the part where I did in the last video. I've managed to defeat that big massive giant spider and I've literally got poisoned just out of nowhere. But anyways, um, it's myself, Profusion, and I'm back with another Resident Evil video. But just to let you all know, I'll do my best to share out as m many game guides as possible. But anyways, uh, first of all, we're going to show you the location of the courtyard map. So going through this door here. Yeah, so what I've actually done is I've actually uh, stood next to the boulder and... Let it slide down and I had to go here just to try and avoid it. Avoid myself being crushed or anything like that. So the big massive boulder will be normally be over there. Just after the, the rotatable platform. Okay, so you find the map here. So it's a map of the underground. Would you take it? So there we go. Okay, so what have we got here? Right, so also this is a MO disc, so you literally find it here. But what we're going to be doing is uh, going to head back to the mansion to see if we can find another MO disc. But I doubt it, anyways. But honestly, just have to say, we're going to, before we do that, we have to place these medallions in the well we've got to place them in the panels on the fountain so let's just go this way shall we so this will take us above ground so literally at the back of the mansion It's welded and does not even open. Oh, there's a lot of herbs there. Right, a picture of an eagle carved in a uh, round hollow. And then we're going to place the wolf medal on the opposite. Right, okay, so that's that one open now. So this will take us to the underground laboratory. Well, I'll call it the research facility okay I've, I've already been to there so we've already located the two mo disc well the one mo disc uh, we've got to locate the second one now and i believe i forgot to take that from the mansion but let me just go to the save box just to make sure i've not even taken it before and i couldn't remember Oh my god, the game's a bit glitchy because I'm playing this off the off the very original PlayStation 3 and I mean the one that plays PS2 games. Okay, so we head this way here. So I've just got to go to the same box just to make sure I've not even put the disc in there. I probably have. I actually probably have. But anyways, we'll just have a good look. Empty bottle, empty bottle, empty or bazooka, cold python, ink ribbon, lighter, combat knife. No, I don't even need this. Um, I, I can put these back anyway, so. Right, 
Right, so yeah. I've got to make sure I'm restocked up on ammunition before I can uh, get on to what I'm doing. But I've got a feeling that I haven't put the ammo disc in there, so I'm going to locate it right now. Wow, well, okay. I wish there was a quicker way to get back into the mansion. But... Let me know in the comments below what your favourite Resident Evil game is. And, and just to say, I'm looking forward to do more on the channel. And there's probably a few more that, that I'm not even done yet. So I've got Resident Evil 2 and 3 originals that I'm going to be playing on here. While basically, um, I'm tempted to make some easy guides. Picking out certain elements out of the game like objects, items, you name it. So anyways, let's just go back up here, find a quick way up to the mansion. Right, so we got to climb it now. Oh my god, oh my god, help me here, help me here, what have I done, what have I done? Okay, that was the sound of sirens. <coughs> Sounded like an ambulance that went past my... Um, that went past my room, and I'm I'm talking about the real life raccoon uh, raccoon city paramedics. <coughs> yeah, so I, I live in the world of raccoon city. Wow. Okay. Yeah, you can tell I look like a zombie, by the way. <laughs> Myself, freaking rough fusion. No, what I like, I'm weird and proud. Right, okay, we're back here. We're back here. There we go. And let's just uh get to this one here. <laughs> hey, you've tried to stay all positive and well. I hate it when I get depressed because, speaking of mental health, I just don't like it when I feel lonely and feel, like, left out. Um, okay, so I had to skip one of the parts that I have done in the video because I didn't want to make it too long and boring. But, obviously, um, the ammo disc has got to be somewhere up here. Right, so we've taken what we need. Okay, so it's got to be in a... Somewhere here. It could be in, in here somewhere. Right, so yes, we found the ammo disc. So this is the second... This is supposed to be the first one, but we picked the second one up from the courtyard basement one. Yeah, so I was literally wrong about the ammo disc being in the statue, but that's in the Resident Evil 2002 remake. But not in the very original one, because the original location for the ammo disc is in the library. On the first floor of the mansion. But okay, so we've got what we need. So what we need to do is head back down to the courtyard basement. And then head back outside. And then go down to the underground laboratory. But okay, just have to say, it's got to be a bit of a long way. But I'm going to try and make this as short as possible. If we can. So in order to get the ammo disc from the mansion, when you go to the library bit, 
that bit, the, the shelf will be um, closed. So what you need to do in order to open the shelf is you need to push the statue under the light. And the door will open. But if you all want to ask me any questions in the comments below, I'll be sure to answer it. But if you're not sure of how to get the MO discs, I will answer that straight away. And just to say a much thank you for those who are finding my videos helpful as well. But I tell you what, I've played this game a few times. It, I actually like it, but I'm doing it again for the purpose of these guides that I want to share out. Since I uh, know all the locations to specific items, I just want to share it out to the community. And obviously the Resident Evil community, by the way. Never had so much fun of doing this in my life. No, I don't want to even want to push these steps. Okay, I've got, I've got a feeling hunters are going to be there. They're going to be in the corridor bit. No, I don't want to face these freaking big spiders because they're so freaking poisonous. Oh, she's taking a right pose there. I don't think I've got some health there, but I just need to see if, what I can find here. Okay, so there's three herbs left where the old, old fashioned boiler is. Okay, so while we're still in the mansion, we're going to take these before we can head back down to the underground pass. But what I'm really, really, um, literally missing from this, and what they added in the 2002 remake was the character of Lisa Trevor. Because Lisa Trevor is not in the re in, in the original Resident Evil. Uh, and just to say, I'm on the autism spectrum, if, just to let you all know, guys. But if you all want to check out my autistic vlogs, I'll leave it in the cards above. And I, I have a separate channel for posting all that anyways. I used to post them on this channel, but I just don't do it anymore. Because obviously, um, a lot of the gaming stuff are doing so well. And I just really want to narrow down on that. Okay, so I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave it at this, and then gonna skip to the underground. So I'll see you all in the next few moments. Okay, so we're down to the basement now of uh, the courtyard, but not the basement of the courtyard. Let me just see what it is. The laboratory basement one. Okay, so gotta say this is actually my favourite part of the. Resident Evil game, but just have to say, I think that's why I like. I think that was literally leading me on to playing Resident Evil 2 from this one because it's actually um, the story just carries on after this. But anyways, we're gonna reveal the location of the third MO disc now. So I've got a feeling that we've actually got all three of them now, but I've now put the other two in the storage box this time because I needed more item space. Okay, let's just drop this guy. Oh my god, don't, never mind, don't freaking vomit on me, man. Okay. Fine, that's exactly what he's done. He's just freaking vomited on me. I don't know if he's gonna get up or not. 
Okay, if he's got to stay down, he's got to stay down. Oh, I knew it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Bring it on. Bring it on. Bring it on. Okay. That was great. So the third ammo disc will be here. Located next to the telephone. So yes, that's all the three discs we've got. I've lied about putting them in my storage box. But yes, I've got all three of these now. But just have to say, I'm going to call this video off, guys. But I just have to say thank you all so much for joining in. And if you find this video helpful, just like I said, leave the comment, leave a comment down below. Take care of yourself. Peace out. Love you all. Take care.